There are two things that I most want to do with my writing. One is to convey to my readers the absolute vital importance of the natural world and how important it is for human beings to have a relationship with it. So that's one thing. The other thing is I'm really keen to write about children who have a difficult start in life. I go to lots of different places, sometimes many other parts of the world, and I see children who do have a very difficult start for all sorts of reasons. And I really want to say to those kids, I know it's horrible, I know you're having a bad time now, but change is possible. And sometimes you can be the very person to bring about change in your life so that your bad start doesn't have to continue, so that the rest of your life can be better than it was at the beginning. Um, and that's why this book is so important to me, The Promise, because it does both of those things, really. Um, it's also important to me because it's a picture book. And although I love writing all the different sorts of books that I write, for me, picture books are an extraordinary art form. I love the way that they can talk across different age groups. I love the way that they can embody a big message and big emotion um, in very, very few words. And I love the process of making a marriage between words and pictures. Um, and this book, with its story of a street child who steals a bag that turns out to be full of acorns, and the transformation that that brings about in her is a really important story to me. It happened in a very extraordinary way too. Normally with picture books, picture books are tough. Picture books are like doing really difficult yoga for your brain. Word for word, they take me the longest to write. There's lots of going, oh no, it won't work that way and getting cross and getting frustrated and not being able to do it and thinking I've got to give up and generally getting in a thoroughly bad mood. So they take time and effort and it's an enormous relief when you finally get the way of doing it, when you finally get the structure right. With this book, I had been thinking about this text kind of in the back of my mind for a long time. It was inspired by a book called The Man Who Planted Trees, which was published more than 60 years ago in France. Fiction, although it read like a piece of reportage, it was the story of a single peasant man, a French peasant, who planted trees for 40 years and transformed a landscape. It had a huge impact worldwide, even though it was a fictional story. This book was inspired by that, but I wanted to write a book about an urban child and a child who had, as I said, a bad start. All that stuff was kind of going round in my head in a very mushy, soupy sort of a way. And then I sat down at my desk one morning, and although I really had no idea what I was going to write, I knew I was going to write this book. Two hours later, it was done. And I can honestly say that has never happened to me before. We've changed one sentence from that original. I rang my editor in London and I said, I've written this book and I want to read it to you. And I read it to her down the phone. And at the other end of the phone, she was very, very quiet. And for a minute I thought, oh, okay, maybe this isn't as good as I thought it was. And then I realized she was crying. Um, and I knew I'd written something that would get to people's hearts. And it does seem to be working that way. It does seem to be working across age groups and across countries. And a few weeks ago, I had the most wonderful email um, from an MA student of mine who had heard me read this story and who had bought copies of it for her sister who was working in Afghanistan in the most war-torn areas of Afghanistan encouraging people to set up gardens and grow food and effect some healing through the growing of green things. And she told me that copies of this story are now passing from hand to hand 
across the remotest and most war-torn areas of Afghanistan. That's the best thing I've ever heard about anything I've ever written. Uh, and I was, as you can imagine, incredibly pleased um, because I do believe that this story has got an important message. <laughs>